Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is uh, serotonin syndrome. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, there is a link in the description area which is just below this website, you know, so you can click that link to visit the website. Now I come to the topic, serotonin syndrome. What is it? You know, serotonin syndrome uh, occurs when you take the medications that cause the high levels of the chemical known as serotonin to accumulate in the body, you know. And uh, this syndrome can occur when you increase a dose of uh, uh, such a drug or uh, like add the new drug, you know, to your regime, you know, and the certain illegal drugs and the dietary supplements and they are also associated with the uh, uh, serotonin syndrome you know but now we need to know what is serotonin you know it's a chemical and uh, your body produces this you know and its function is that uh, it need for your nerve cells and the brain cells to function you know and too much serotonin causes the symptoms that can range from mild, like uh, shivering or diarrhea, to the severe ones like muscle rigidity or maybe fever or maybe seizures, you know. And the severe serotonin syndrome can be fatal if it's not treated. Okay, so mild forms uh, may go away like within. Uh, a day of uh, stopping the medications you know which are causing this one and uh, sometimes taking drugs that uh, uh, block the serotonin you know okay now the next thing is what are the symptoms uh, so you know the serotonin syndrome symptoms usually occur within uh, several hours of taking the new drug or adding the new drug to the uh, to the medication you are taking at the moment, you know, or increasing the dose, you know. And the signs and the symptoms may include like uh, uh, confusion uh, or maybe sweating or maybe muscle rigidity, you know, or maybe uh, dilated pupils, you know, uh, rapid heartbeat or the high blood pressure, you know, diarrhea, uh, headaches or uh, goosebumps, you know or maybe agitation and restlessness as well. So, but the severe uh, serotonin syndrome can be life-threatening. And in case of the severe disease, you know, or condition or syndrome, uh, the symptoms may include like uh, high fever, you know, or maybe seizures or maybe irregular heartbeat or palpitations, you know, rapid heartbeat, you know, and uh, maybe unconsciousness. Okay, and uh, in that case, it's an emergency and you should rush to the hospital straight away, you know, or call them emergency services straight away, you know, and uh, uh, this is an emergency, you know, and uh, immediate attention is needed. The next thing, what are the causes? You know, the excessive accumulation of the serotonin in the body uh, creates the symptoms of the serotonin syndrome. And... Uh, you know, under normal circumstances, the nerve cells in the brain and the spinal cord, uh, they produce a serotonin that helps to regulate your uh, attention, your behavior, and the body temperature, you know. And uh, the other nerve cells in your body, like uh, uh, in your intestines, they also produce serotonin, you know. So, in these other areas, the serotonin plays a role in... Uh, uh, regulating the digestive process or uh, regulating the blood flow and regulating the breathing, you know. And uh, it's possible that uh, taking just uh, one drug which increases the serotonin levels can cause uh, serotonin syndromes uh, in uh, like susceptible individuals, you know. And this condition occurs most often when you combine the certain medications, you know. And the example is like uh, serotonin syndrome may occur if you take uh, antidepressants with a, a migraine medication, you know. 
and uh, it may also occur if you take uh, antidepressant with uh, opiate pain medication. Okay, so these are the common scenarios, you know. And the other causes of the, uh, this syndrome is uh, like uh, intentional overdose of antidepressant medications. Okay, and uh, uh, the number of uh, over-the-counter medications and the prescription drugs, you know, um, may be associated with this syndrome especially antidepressants, you know, uh, illegal drugs and the dietary supplements, you know, uh, they may be associated with the Saturn syndrome. And uh, these drugs uh, may include uh, like uh, a selective uh, serotonin reputate inhibitors known as uh, SSROs, uh, antidepressants like uh, Prozac, or Paxil or uh, Zoloft, etc. You know, and the other one is like uh, serotonin and uh, uh, norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or um, a tricyclic antidepressants. You know, or maybe uh, monoamine oxidase inhibitors, pain medications, illegal drugs, lithium. Okay herbal supplements and over-the-counter cough medications, you know, or maybe uh, Zyvox, uh, which is an antibiotic, you know, or uh, maybe uh, Norvir, which is uh, Retonorvir, you know, uh, which is used to treat the AIDS and uh, HIV, you know. So these are the common medications which can cause the serotonin syndrome, you know. So as a result of this it, the, uh, excessive accumulation of the serotonin in the body, you know. And some people are more susceptible uh, to the drugs and the supplements, you know, uh, known to increase the serotonin levels. You know, and uh, you are at an increased risk if uh, you recently started taking the uh, medication known to increase that levels or you have added the dose, you know, or you take uh, more than one drugs known to increase the serotonin, uh, serotonin levels, you know, or you use the illegal drugs or the herbal supplements, you know. And the complications uh, generally, it does not cause any problems once serotonin levels are back to normal, you know. And if it's left and untreated, it's uh, dangerous, you know. It can lead to unconsciousness and maybe death, you know. And taking more than one serotonin-related medications or increasing your dose uh, can increase your risk of uh, a serotonin syndrome, you know. So by just uh, um, uh, paying attention to the um, medication that you are taking, you know, uh, it can be prevented, okay. And the next thing is how to diagnose and how to treat, you know. Well, there is no single test which can be used to confirm uh, this uh, syndrome, you know. And your doc doctor will diagnose to uh, just by ruling out the other possibilities, you know. And your doctor will likely begin with asking you the questions about your symptoms, you know, and a medication history, you know, and then the physical examination, you know. And uh, to make sure that your symptoms are caused by serotonin syndrome and it are not due to any other reason, you know, your doctor may use the test like he will measure the levels of the drugs you are using, you know, and uh, check the signs of an infection and maybe check the body functions that uh, may be affected by the serotonin syndrome, you know. And a number of conditions that can cause the symptoms uh, which are similar to those uh, serotonin syndrome, you know. And the minor symptoms can be caused by numerous conditions like uh, uh, causes of moderate to severe symptoms include like uh, uh, anticholinergic syndrome, you know, uh, malignant hypothermia or maybe uh, uh, like uh, neuroleptic malignant syndrome, you know, or the serious conditions caused by the certain medications, you know, or maybe an overdose of illegal drugs or maybe the damage to the, which is associated with the illegal drugs, you know, or maybe severe alcohol withdrawal, etc., you know. So your doctor may order the tests to rule out the causes of your symptoms. And they may include like uh, uh, 
blood and urine analysis, you know, uh, chest X-rays, uh, CT scan, or maybe spinal tap, or maybe known as uh, also known as lumbar puncture test, you know, okay, where the spinal fluid is drawn and tested under the uh, microscope in the lab, you know, and the treatments include like. Uh, uh, it depends on the severity of the symptoms, you know, and uh, like uh, if your some uh, symptoms are minor, you know, uh, uh, a visit to your doctor or stopping the medication causing the problem may be enough, you know, and if your symptoms are, uh, if your doctor is worried about your symptoms, you know, and uh, you may need to go to the hospital in that case, you know, your doctor may have. Uh, want you to stay in the hospital for several hours to make uh, uh, to make sure that your symptoms are improving you know and if you have the severe conditions or the severe serotonin syndrome you know you will need intensive care treatment in the hospital uh, in, in case in the case uh, there is threat to your life you know and depending on the symptoms um, uh, your doctor may uh, your symptoms may be managed by like muscle relaxants or maybe oxygen and the intravenous fluids, you know, or maybe serotonin production blocking agents or maybe drugs that control the heart rate and blood pressure, you know, and uh, the breathing tubes and the machines may be used, you know, if uh, uh, there is a serious condition, you know. And the milder forms uh, uh, usually go away within 24 to 72 hours stopping the medications you know which are causing these symptoms you know and uh, uh, by taking the medications to uh, block the effects of the serotonin okay which are already in the system you know and, uh, and the symptoms of uh, serotonin syndrome caused by some antidepressants could take several weeks to go away and these medications remain in your system longer than uh, do the other medications that can cause the serotonin syndrome you know Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more information. Thank you. Goodbye.